is your Monday update for the box office. The box office has been doing much better than it used to be. And yep, the box office did not reach $25 million, but if we was did pretty well on Monday, Forever Pros reached $15 million. And A Quiet Place continues to do out the box office alongside Peter Rabbit 2, which is definitely doing far better than In the Heights at the box office. F9 also passed $123 million as well, grossing $7 million and nearing five hundred. And Mercury as of tomorrow will reach $500 million worldwide. Wide. So this movie, I think, is thus overall a success. Success. The movie needs around five four hundred to four hundred forty million dollars to break even, and it bought and made that much more money. So next is the Rotary family business again. The movie isn't really out outside of America, as you have as they have to wait until September and October for yep, yep they have to oh, wait for that those days for this movie to come out. So on on those months for the pods. Surprisingly, it isn't doing too well, which is not too surprising. And especially, it is doing slightly worse than the first part, which it always didn't do as well good as it. As, a, as it. But we'll see how its rigs do, considering there's only not one new release. A Quiet Place should be doing well the next week as well. It's doing, it has made $157 million at the box office. Yeah, you know, Hitman's Race probably got another sequel I think nobody wanted or nobody cares about. Again, the international box office is the reason why this movie is a flop. Nobody wants to see this movie internationally. And this movie isn't doing as well as the first movie. And yeah, this movie is going to have pretty decent rigs. Probably hit 50, 40 to $45 million domestically. But needs the international box office. And this is a series that doesn't perform well internationally. It's going to be a dead franchise. Size. And yeah, I think everybody's going to forget about that series to begin with. Same thing with Peter Rabbit 2. It's doing well, but it's slowing down worldwide. 127 million worldwide, it's slowing down. But the international, I think it's going to end up grossing the similar to, P- to Angry Birds 2. That is the best comparison for this movie. And we'll likely get another sequel, even though this movie didn't really do too well. Because considering that we're having the Angry Birds 3 as well. Well. And last movie is Zora. Nobody cares about this movie. I think, you know, I think this movie is just a finance, probably a financial flop. But again, they keep, po- ro- you know, pointing out these woke movies that nobody really cares about, basically. And Zola is just another example of those movies that nobody cares about. Nobody cares a crap about these diversity movies that Hollywood, that the you know, IMDb and critics get perfect scores to, even though nobody gives a crap. And yeah, then the big new release of this week is Black Widow. And we'll come back to Sunday. And probably the day before Black Widow comes out and feeders is for the whole box office of that movie. Goodbye.